Hey everyone, what's going on? So I was just going through the forum, um, I saw this new game that was sent in, and I saw it and I said, you know, that one won't take uh, too long to check out. You know, he's just asking about one specific move, mostly, and uh, I can cover that and also talk about a few other things in, uh, in no time at all. So let's go ahead and let's, let's check it out. So uh, let's go ahead, he's playing as the white pieces, so... Let's go ahead and let's check it out. So the opening so far is okay. Um, these two players are a little bit newer, but let's let's give them some hints to play, and so that they can get better. Okay. E3, E5. Okay, so right here, this is obviously a clear mistake by the person who's playing the the black pieces. This pawn doesn't have enough pieces supporting it. So you don't need to retreat the bishop. You can just go ahead and, and take. There's a number of ways you can take as well, and then you'll just be up a pawn. For nothing, you know, and then you get a clear pawn advantage. Because uh, one of the things I'm going to be talking about is counting. You know, you don't have to necessarily calculate out how many pieces, you know, what if I attack, he takes. You can just say, well, I have one, two, three pieces attacking e5, and he only has one piece defending, so you can just go ahead and take. Okay, and that's, that's an easy way to, to calculate things out. Sometimes you can just count. Okay, bishop g3, queen e7. And uh, you can still take, because again, we, we count 2 against 3. Alright, bishop d3. So this move falls into that all too familiar pawn fork that black, you know, the black pieces could go ahead and play with uh, with just pawn to e4. And that's a common uh, little trick with, uh, with bishops on d3 and knights on f3 that comes up. Of course, the black pieces, I guess, don't see this, and they play a different move. Knight takes, bishop f5. So here is the question that uh, pops up. Do you think I should trade bishops? So, of course, it's not really exactly an even trade, because, if, again, if we go back to that counting, we can count 1, 2, and there's only one pawn defending. So if you trade, of course it's, it's going to be a good idea, because you'll wind up winning a pawn. And, of course, at the end of that, you wind up, you know, you're hitting the queen, and uh, maybe you'll take off the bishop as well, which, you know, this bishop would be a major defender should the black pieces go kingside. And uh, you'll be left with, you know, a much, much better position. And uh, so, yes, yes, you should take the bishop. So that's going to be my, my answer is yes. Short answer, yes, just because uh, it's a pretty short answer. Just uh, yes, you're going to win material. So go ahead and take it. So... So yeah, that's, that's the idea that I'm going to encourage, is the counting. Count how many packers, how many defenders. And uh, and that's a, that's a really good thing, because uh, you don't need to calculate out how many pieces, you know, if I go here, he goes there. You can just say, oh, well, I have two attackers, he has one defender. And let's go back for one second, just one other thing I want to talk about. So let's even say that there was a second defender on uh, on that square, like... Like, let's just uh, switch a move here. I just want to talk about one more thing, and just, uh, let's just add a defender just for the sake of talking about it. Let's say you take here, and now you double the pawns. And so this is one of the things that you need to think about as well, is, uh, you, you would be damaging the structure, and these pawns would all be kind of weak. And so, I think that, uh, go, going, going for something like that, um, Usually doubling pawns is uh, a fair exchange for the bishop pair, in most cases, because you have the lasting structural difference versus uh, the bishop, and so, let's just say the bishop pair, and uh, that's, a, that's a common theme that we see in chess, and usually it winds up creating a, an imbalance that's fair for both sides. So, so for example, in the um, Spanish game, the exchange variation, the exchange usually winds up being fair because the black pieces get the bishop pair, but the white pieces have the damage structure. Or no, I'm sorry, the, the black pieces have the damage structure but also have the bishop pair. All right, so that's that's kind of my idea. I hope that this helps you and this helps answer your question. And uh, I was trying to go a little bit deeper than just saying yes or no, so hopefully this helps you out in your uh, chess learning. All right, so... See you next time.